Now, when you look up a commercial property and try to figure out where the owner is, it always has like a gazillion different addresses and phone numbers and stuff. So it's like, which yeah. one do you pick? The easiest one is just call them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, yeah, we definitely would call them. Sometimes people wouldn't even answer their phones. So then we would text them. Uh, so you text them a bunch of times and call them again and try to get an email address and try to email them. But uh, a lot of people in the rural areas, they are not up to date with technology. So texting is a new thing. Email is even newer. <laughs> so I mean, like, did you have an idea of like what kind of facility you were looking for when you got out and looked or were you just like, I'm just going to look and see what I can find? Um, it, for marketing purposes, it was pretty much everything, um, because I have extensive experience in wholesaling and I am a licensed agent. So at the end of the day, I had a couple exit strategies for whatever we could possibly even remotely negotiate. Um, so it was kind of a little bit of everything, but our, our main focus was if something wasn't being managed a hundred percent, um, other than that size location, uh, nothing really, we didn't take into it that into consideration for the marketing for purpose of it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Cool. Okay, good. All right. So tell everybody, uh, so tell everybody kind of about this first deal. So you've been now marketing and you, you found it. So what happened when you found this first deal, you got it from a wholesaler. Yes. So when we found this first deal, um, it, it was obviously too good to be true. Um, you know, the numbers were amazing. Everything was amazing. And, uh, oh, the wholesaler? yeah, so, which is pretty common, you know, the performers are astronomical. The income is something and, you know, everything made amazing sense. Um, the unfortunate part with this particular property was as we were going forward, the wholesaler, uh, kept raising the price. So we knew what it was actually under contract for and they would not negotiate and they were almost making more than the seller themselves. So it was a bit unfortunate. That's why I don't like working with wholesalers very much. Um, but in this market and with this particular market, um, it still made sense. Um, this property though, it was, they said it was 30% occupied. It was 12% occupied. Um, How did y'all figure that out? um going to the property actually looking through all of the paperwork that was sent to us um because it was also marketed as uh, 119 units and it's 122 units um so the occupancy was oh inaccurate. really they didn't even have the right number of units yeah <laughs> yeah that happens a lot with right? these facilities yeah um yeah. So, I mean, we looked through all the paperwork, anything and everything that they'd actually send, which, you know, I mean, we got uh, contracts from 30 years ago and stuff. And so um, basically kind of going through everything and actually adding it all up, putting in an Excel sheet and creating, you know, our own tenant template and stuff and kind of seeing what it truly looks like instead of just going off of what's provided for us um, and realizing how off they really are. And then, um, we were asking for kind of proof of uh, any type of actual deposits um, and they couldn't send any. So most of the occupancy um, weren't actually paying occupancy. So it was an incredibly mismanaged property. Yeah, um, like too mismanaged. Yeah, the owners, uh, they just kind of, you know, if someone was working for them, they let them store stuff there um they were like a property management company and wanted to manage it <laughs> so we were like no um but uh yeah like the people that lived there were like well we have to pay now so there it was just uh yeah there's people there 